is the host of Christian Worldview Today, Dr. Tony Bean. All right, welcome back to our last segment. Glad you're back along here. It's good to be back in the chair after being out in uh, Indianapolis for a little bit over a week. Uh, we've got a special group in the studio today we want to talk to. Diane Heinlein is with us, along with uh, It's Amara It's Amara and Jordan. Almost did it again. It's Amira. I don't know why I want to say Mira. It's Amara and Jordan are two of the young folks that are going to speak to us. They are all with a group called RunToVote.com. Diane, tell me about the organization. What are you doing? Well, um, we decided um, these students really want to be able to influence the 2008 elections, but they're not old enough to vote themselves. So their way of influencing the election is to try to go around and get as many people to register to vote or to pledge to vote as possible. So um, we really want to increase voter turnout for this coming election. They think it's a really important election. Well, it is important. I, all of our national, well, every election, whether it's national, local, state, doesn't matter, um, you know, we live in a constitutional republic, and we the people get to make the decisions. And if we get enough of the people involved, then the decisions we make uh, are better, That's I right. think, the more people involved. So this is a good thing. Well, now, uh, how are they doing this? They're runners, right? They're running from place to place to uh, sort of get the attention, and then they do the voter registration? Well, uh, we actually we have a van that we're driving from mm -hmm. city to city. Once we um, set up in a city, we spend a couple hours um, trying to get people to register to vote. And then the running group actually is going to run a quarter of a mile for every person that registers. Um, oh, okay. So they go out and do some of their running um, while the voting drive is going on in the area and, and that kind of thing. Okay. So are all of you involved here? Are you guys uh, track, track and field, cross country, that kind of thing? See, that's, that's fascinating because my daughter, Allison, uh, just ran in the state finals in South Carolina in the 800-meter run the 4x4 four four relay, and she's on the cross-country team. Awesome. So we're, I mean, we're out at track events. I mean, I live there pretty much during <laughs> the season. So I think this is a good way. So the running is basically to draw attention. Right. I mean, it's just to get people's attention. To get their attention, um, you know, just to celebrate. We, we run to celebrate, you know, people joining, you know, the democratic process with us. Um, and, you know, also to promote um, good health and, and, you know, being active as well. Yeah, well, and I think that's a great idea. Um, obviously, we're we're better off if we get out and do some exercise and try to eat right, take care of ourselves. Right. Um, when I when I started getting, when I hit forty, I started thinking about that more, <laughs> you know. And now that I'm fifty, I think about it every day. But anyway, um, let let me get uh, let's get the microphone over here. Go ahead and grab that, Jordan. Pull that pull that microphone up to you. Let me talk to Jordan for a minute. Jordan, how old are you? I'm sixteen. Yeah, pull it, go ahead and pull it up just a little bit. You can pull it. You can manipulate. There you go. You can do whatever you want to. <laughs> Gary, he, he abuses that microphone all the time, so I know that it'll it'll take it. Uh, you're 16, so you can't vote in this election cycle. No. So this is why. Yeah, I mean, but but you're concerned. I mean, you keep up. Do you keep up with stuff? I mean, do you keep up with politics a little bit? You know where the candidates are coming from? Yeah. Um. I think it's very important to vote, but like you said, I can't vote. So um, this is what we're doing to. You know, influence our democracy. So. How how do you keep stay in touch, Jordan, when it comes to political stuff? I mean, do you watch like uh, CNN, Fox News, or do you read uh, like uh, when Obama or McCain goes out and makes a speech? Do you do you kind of listen to some of it sometimes, or and and do you know do you know like what the big issues are in the campaign? I mean, sometimes. Um, mostly, we've like researched a lot about the candidates and everything. Online. Like go to their websites online, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you guys, you know, I have to stop and think. Online is where you guys, that, that's where everything kind of comes, right? Yeah. It, 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 you get most of your information. Do you ever watch the YouTube, you know, um, things, clips that they have on YouTube from the candidates? Oh, um, no, not really. I haven't done that much yet. What about, what about the debates on TV? Did you, did you watch any of those, like the presidential debates, you know, the Democrat debates, Republican debates? Um, I don't know, little parts of it. Is yeah. Well, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm fascinated because it's it's unusual for people that are your age to, to get involved at this level. I wish I had done that. I didn't get involved politically until I was in college. And, you know, I, I, I wish that I'd been more aware when I was your age because – and let me just encourage all of you. You know, as you, as you go out and try to encourage people to vote, spend some time – and, and find out what the candidates think and believe. Not just what you got to remember. If you go to their websites, you're getting what they want you to see. I mean, obviously, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, there's not gonna be a fair and balanced debate on John McCain's website about his policies. You're gonna hear the best he's got. Same thing for Barack Obama. So you need to sort of, sort of follow the debate, listen to the, to what's being said, and, and read pretty widely as, you know, as you try to make your decisions about this. Now, um, 
It's Amara. Let me talk to you for just a minute. Let's swap the microphone over there for her. What about you? Now, do you follow? Have you followed any of the debates or well, anything? I definitely do because it's something that's like really, really important, and I know that like their websites are very biased and stuff. So I've watched some of the debates like on TV and stuff. That's good. And my parents are like, they're very concerned because some of the issues apply to them, and I don't. It's it's just like something that we really take seriously at our house. Yeah, well, and, that's um, good. They're not able to vote because they're not citizens as of now. So that's like I don't know. It's something really important for them. And now, how old are, how old are you? Are you sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Um, my youngest, my daughter, I was talking about a while ago. By the way, she's sixteen. Just turned sixteen. So she's another. She's she's just now kind of beginning to become a little bit more politically aware. Um, it's Amara. Let me ask you. What do you think? And what are the conversations around your house? Now you don't have to get real specific, but just tell me some of the things that you're concerned about. I mean, you're out trying to get people registered to vote. Obviously, you think it's important that people participate in the political process. Why is this election so important? And what do you think the big issues are? I mean, the war in Iraq certainly, because that's been like a huge issue. The economy, because my parents are having a lot of like financial issues, mm -hmm. um, just energy in general, because gas has gotten so expensive. Immigration, because some of our families kind of like uh, we have like issues all, along those areas, so it's kind of important too. So just basically everything. Yeah, well, now that's like, see, that's very good. That's very that's the, those issues that you just named. Those are some of the top ones that people you talked about: the economy, the energy crisis. Uh, which we obviously have right now. And you talked about the war in Iraq, which is on a lot of people's minds, either for or against, whichever. But, I mean, it's an issue that's out there that people Definitely. need to be aware of. Um, and and I think when you talk about immigration, you know, you can speak to this from a standpoint that a lot of people can't because you're you're involved in the process of becoming I suppose yeah, legal citizens, definitely. is that right? Yeah. Now, were you born in the United States? No, I wasn't. Okay. So your whole family is kind of dealing with this whole issue yeah. of how do and we... like, also, like, other members of our family who are, like, wanting to, like, come into the country, like, in a legal way. So right. it's, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Definitely. Tell me, where we, where, what country are you from? Um, I was born in Spain. My parents, um, my dad's Mexican and my mom's Spanish. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, um, I've had to deal with some of that in my position at North Greenville University, uh, helping people who want to come here legally. And I'll tell you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, people don't realize how hard it is for people that want to do the right thing yeah, to become citizens. Yeah, because it took it, my parents, a, like, plenty of years to, like, be able to, like, get a work visa and, like, come here legally, and it's just kind of tough when other people are just... Walking in. Yeah, yeah, basically. Well, I salute you and your family for being law-abiding citizens and coming and trying to do it the right way. And I believe, uh, you know, I believe the Lord will, will bless you in that. I, I believe when people try to make the right decisions that it works out. Uh, well, let me, get, let me come back for a second to uh, Diane. So how can... Um, what, what do you want people to do and respond to what you're doing? How can we support this effort in terms of uh, making people aware, uh, making sure they're registered to vote? Well, we certainly want as many people to come out to our voting drives as possible. Um, we have a website as well if you can't make it. Um, the website is www.runtovote.com. Okay. Um, and if you go there, you can see ways that you can donate. We certainly need some financial assistance to get the kids around to all 48 states. Um, and there's also a way that you can register online there, see photos of the trip that we're doing so far. And the website's really the best way to, to keep track of us. The kids are doing blogs and everything. Runtovote.com, mm -hmm. www.runtovote.com. And it is about getting people involved in the process, not about a political agenda, but just about making sure that your voice gets heard. Exactly. We're totally yeah. nonpartisan. We just want people to go out and make their voice heard, whatever their opinion is. Well, thanks, Diane. Guys, I appreciate you coming by, Thank run, you so running much. by, literally, uh, to be a <laughs> part of it today. Uh, we'll certainly put the website out there and continue to promote you, and I hope you do well and get a whole bunch of people registered to vote because we need to be involved in the process, that's for sure. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you. I'll see you in the morning, 7 o'clock. The opinions expressed on today's program are those of the announcers, their guests, and callers, and do not necessarily represent those of the staff and management of His Radio Network, the Radio Training Network, or Clear Channel Communications.